Hello everyone, welcome back to the second part of our tutorial, ROM database. If you haven't seen the previous uh, episode, no worries, you can still follow with us regardless of what we have done in the first uh, part. I will explain everything with a generic manner. So the scope of this second part will consist of relationship between entities. Sometimes you need to retrieve data from tables completing each other's information. So without creating an entity that will have too much fields, we opt for uh, creating relationships between uh, entities. So in order to achieve this, we have two possibilities. The first one is to create a intermediate data uh, or data table. So let's see, for example, the product uh, DAO, and let's assume that we want to retrieve a product with its related medias. So a product can have uh, too many or one or three or four or one or more pictures. So in order to do that, we will put here uh, a pure SQL code. It's gonna be uh, select everything from the parent class, which is product table and the second class or child class or child table, which is medias table. And we have to specify here the junction between the two data tables. So on product table dot uh, product ID equal and medias table dot the second, the foreign key, which is product uh, ID. And here I'm going to put not spending function. Let's call it get um, product with medias. And it will be a list of a new class, let's call it, for example, product with with medias. You can create afterwards a, a data class, products with media, that's going to contain the fields of the product data table, as well as the fields of the product uh, medias the data table. So this is the first approach. So the second approach is to create a dedicated relationship explaining to ROM database how the relationship uh, defining the relationship between the entities. So the first relationship that we will see is one-to-one -one relationship. So let's head to the user entity. As you can see in the diagram, a user has one bio and bio belongs to one user, which means that we have a one-to-one -one relationship. So in order to define this relationship, head to the relationship or relation uh, package and let's add here a new Kotlin class. Let's call it user with or user and bio following the naming conventions by Google. So this is user and bio. It will define the relationship of between user and bio. So to define the uh, relationship between user and bio, we need to specify, of course, the parent class. In our case, the parent class will be user and uh, the related class will be bio. So in order to allow uh, nested fields to be used in the SQL queries, we need to annotate the user with embedded. So I'm going to annotate here uh, the user with embedded. So here I will do user and it will be of course of type user entity. So this is the parent class. The, the child or the, the related class will be the bio of type bio entity. Let's name here bio with bio entity. Now we have to specify the relation between the two entities. So in order to do that, we need to use an annotation that will fetch relation entities. So here I'm going to add relations or relation, and we need to specify the parent colon. So the parent colon or the parent colon ID, it will be the ID we have specified here by ID of user entity. So we're going to put here ID and the child or the entity colon will be of course the the, in, the id in the bio entity so the id in the bio entity will be user id so we'll copy this one and we'll paste it here so now we have defined the relationship between user and bio so i'm going to recap first of all you have to specify the parent uh, entity in our case it's user uh, user entity so you have to annotate it with embedded to allow us to use the uh, nested fields in the sql queries 
so second it will be to, we have to define the child entity which is bio entity and we need to define the relation between those uh, entities so here the parent colon will be the id inside of course it's, it's called here id so I'm going to put here um id and for the entity colon it will be user id because here in the bio entity we have the entity colon which is user id so now we have created the entity or the relationship between user and bio and i'm going to create here just only a convenient function let's call it to user detail it's going to give us the the detail of the user it will be user detail as we have defined in the model class because as i said before we want to uh, expose uh, the entities or the relationship we have uh, retrieved the both information from the two entities user and bio so let's go to the let's modify of course the user DAO and let's add here a new uh, query let's call it a get last user it's gonna be a function get last user so the last inserted user per se and we need to add the query of course and when of course let's uh, specify here the return type it's gonna be of course a flow because we want to have real uh, stream of data and here we will retrieve the relationship so here i'm going to put user and bio and perhaps we don't have any user so i'm going to keep it as nullable here so whenever we select from a uh, user table automatically without using the method that we have done here in the product um product uh, DAO, without using this method of uh, inner join automatically by room we will uh, choose or select the related bio for that specific user because we have defined the relation on this is basically the junction so we have the primary key of the parent colon and the, the foreign key of the parent colon and we will uh, retrieve those uh, data automatically using the relationship and whenever we are dealing with a relationship you better use transaction if uh, any problem occurs it will uh, ignore the rest of uh, of the uh, of the statements so this is basically the user DAO benefiting from the relationship so the next relationship is basically one to many relationship <music> You can see in the diagram on your right, one product can have uh, one or multiple medias. And one media, of course, belongs to one product. So the relationship is one to many. So how to declare one to many? So let's go back to the product uh, entity. So you can, we can understand basically the structure. So the product entity has is identified by, by a product ID and the media entity is identified by a product ID as well as a foreign key with a media ID as the primary key. Fine. So the first step to deal with uh, one to many relationship is to create a new entity. So let's create a new entity. Let's call it, it's, I'm going to call it by the naming convention by a room uh, database, product with uh, medias. So for one to one, we will do products and media. And for one to many, we will put products with medias. So here, data. And of course, we will specify the parents class with embedded. And the child class will be, of course, um, val medias. Because one to many will be represented by a list of medias or media entity. And we have to define, lastly, the relationship between those two. So we will annotate, use the annotation relation. So here I'm going to annotate this field with relation. And inside we will put the parent class or the parent colon will be the product ID because we have the parent ID is product ID. Make sure to write it correctly, product ID. And here the colon or entity colon inside the media entity will be product ID as well. Let's copy copy it from here uh, I have I guess I have closed it so here I'm going to put product ID and we are good to go so this is basically how to create 
uh, one too many relationship. I'm just going to create a new uh, mapping function to map to a product. So I'm going to come back to the product uh, DAO and here we're going to add the, the method that's going to retrieve for us uh, the media or products with uh, medias. So here instead of get products with entity, we will use products with medias and we will add here transaction because if the operation fail, it will uh, ignore the rest of the transaction. And here we will, of course, replace this one with products, products with medias. Great. So this is how to deal with one to many relationship. I'm going just to recap. We'll specify the product entity or the parent entity with embedded. Then we will put the child entity. In our case, it will be a list of uh, entities. And we have to define the relationship between these two entities. So we will put the parent colon, which is the product ID uh, inside the product entity. And the entity colon, which is basically the, the foreign key of the product entity inside the media entity, which is product ID. And we have successfully defined the foreign keys in the data table. So this is basically one to many relationship. So the last one, which is many to many relationship. Many to many relationship is a little bit tricky. It consists of a lot of uh, steps that you have to follow, but just keep in mind by Google, um, doing a relationship and nested relationship will consume a lot of memory. So just keep that in mind. So uh, in our case, we will take a look on the wish list entity. So as you can see here in the diagram, one uh, wish list can contain one or more products and one product can belong to one wish list or more wish lists or too many wish lists. So this is basically the relationship between the two, many to many relationship. So the first step that you have to do is to create a new entity. So let's head to entity. Let's create a new data class. Let's name it. So by the convention of a room database, it will be called, it's a little bit um, funny. So it will be wish list and product because this is the relationship between wish list and product and cross reference or cross ref. It will be just like this. And let's add it here. We will specify here inside this data class, the parent ID of the, or for the parent class or the parent entity. Parent class, it's a wish list. And the second one, which is the child uh, ID of the child entity, it will be called product ID of type long. Of course, we need, first of all, to annotate it with entity. So this entity will be created in the database. So we have to add it, of course, in the, um, in the database abstract class, and we can add its methods. You can add it as a DAW or you can add it in the wish list DAW, no problem. So here I'm going to add just a name to change this to a uh, wish list ID. And for the same here, I'm going to add here product ID. So this is the first step. We need here to specify as is an entity. Let's specify to the data table. What are the primary keys? So the primary keys will be in our case, as you can see here, wishlist ID. I'm not gonna take a chance. I'm going to copy paste this one and the second one, which is product ID. So this, those are the two primary keys. So here I'm going to put wishlist cross reference and without DAW, the DAW are going to be we're going just to include the operation of inserting the records inside the, I think inside the wish list DAW. Yeah. So let's close this file. So last but not least, we need to add the data class defining the relationship. So let's go to the relationship and let's add here a new relationship. 
is going to be a data class. Let's call it wishlist. So with the naming conventions, you guess this, wishlist with products. So here I'm going to put here a class or data class and we will specify the parent class. It will be embedded val wishlist. So we're, uh, we're talking about one wishlist and we'll define, of course, the relationship between the, the wishlist and the products. So for the primary key or the parents colon, it will be wishlist, wishlist ID or here wishlist ID. And for the, the child colon or the entity colon, it will be here product ID. And we have to add one more uh, parameter. It's associated by, so to specify the junction. So the junction will be the uh, class that we have created, wishlist products cross reference. And we will add here the list of products because we want to have uh, one product or many products. So here I have to put, I think this one and product ID. So here, as I said, products, it will be list of product entity. Basically this, uh, the relationship between one, uh, many to many, but in our case, unfortunately, this is not enough. Why it's not enough? Because we want to retrieve wish lists with products. Now we are just retrieving wish lists with products. We cannot retrieve right now wish lists with products and its media. If you want to do that in the in this application, you will only have um, the the products title and the price etc. Without the image, which is not convenient. So it will be the next objective of our last part of this second part. So in order to achieve this task of nested relationships, we have to make a change on the, you, you will follow, of course, the, the same steps you have to create. You still need a wishlist product cross-reference and you still need to define another relationship. So let's go to the uh, relationship and let's call here and let's call it, it's going to be funny, which wish list and with products and medias. So in order to achieve the nested relationship, which means that we want to, to retrieve a wish list with products and the medias of the products, we need to add uh, some uh, indices and foreign keys to the table wish list products cross reference. So the rest is going to be the same here. I'm going to add the indices. First of all, I have to specify the indices. So we have only one index. It will be the uh, child index, which is the products ID. So here I'm going to add here um, product ID and I'm going to specify the foreign keys. So foreign keys, we have two foreign keys to deal with. So the first one and we have the second one. Why we have second one? Because we are talking about two uh, direction relationship or many to many, sorry, many to many relationship, which means that we have two foreign keys. The first one is from the direction of product to uh, entity. This is what we, we will add here. And the second one from the direction which wish list to product. So we will add the foreign key here. So the first one will be entity wish list. So this will be, of course, on uh, the wish list entity. The parents class or the parents colon, it will be um, only one in our case, wish list ID. And the second or the uh, child columns, it will be, of course, with the same because we have done the the same wish list ID. You can change it if you want, but in order not to, to get confused, I'm just going to keep it with the same uh, name. So the first one, the, the wish list ID belongs to the wish list entity and the wish list ID belongs to the child, which is the product entity. 
so the vice versa and uh, of, co of course we have to add here on delete foreign keys that's cascade and here on updates foreign keys that's cascade so we have to automatically change or delete the related fields or the related uh, nested um, entities and here so the vice versa it will be or the other direction the other way around it will be product entity class and for the parent colon will be uh, product id and for the uh, child colon it will be product id as well on updates foreign keys come on foreign keys dot uh, cascade and on delete foreign keys dot cascade so this is the first step so i'm going to recap now we are talking about nested relationships so nested relationships we want to achieve to get wish list from products uh, with products and the media so we have three or two deep level so the first level is from which list to product and the second level from product to media so what we have to do we have to change the structure of which list products cross reference we have to create first of all the, pr the the primary keys we have to specify the indices we have only one index index which is product id and we have to define the two uh, directions from the many to many relationship which is from wishlist to products and from products to wishlist to specify the uh, the foreign keys the first one and this is the second one now the last step we have to create the relationship defining uh, wishlist between wishlist and products so we will go to the relation and we will add a new data class so it will be a wish list with products and medias so we are going to retrieve uh, wish lists and with products and its related medias so this is the relationship we have to define now the parent class in our case it's embedded so embedded val the parent class you guess it which is wish list great wish list entity let's remove entity from here and next what we have to do we have to define the relationship so of course the the child entity it will be products so products it will be a list of what here we have the difference so i'm going just to open this one to see the difference in this case we have a list of products entities so we want to retrieve only the um, the product uh, data now we have to retrieve the products with its with its related medias so what we have to do here we'll do products with medias great now we have to define the relationship using relation annotation and so here we have to define the relation between entity and the wish list so entity product uh, entity class and for the parent columns or the parent column it will be wishlist wishlist id and for the entity column it will be product id and here we have to specify the associated by so associated by and we will add the junction that we have created before so junction it will be cross reference wishlist products cross reference class and we will add here it's different let's come back to the other one here we only used uh, not this one where is uh, the other relationship here we have just specified the cross reference and that's it but here we need to specify more uh, fields in order to make this necessary relationship works we have to specify of course the parent colon it will be wishlist id as uh, the parent colon for the wishlist products cross reference and the entity column it will be the same product and here we have of course the uh, list of products with media and just for convenient purposes we will add here i'm going to add here a new function it's going to map for us the wishlist and let's come back to the DAO. and we have here to add uh, a new function or maybe two functions the first one is going to add the cross-reference data and the other one is going to get all the wishlists 
So the first function is going to insert uh, the data for in our data table, wishlist cross-reference. So here's the thing, whenever we add a new wishlist, so whenever we call this add to wishlist, we will insert afterwards the inserted data uh, or inserted IDs. So it so it's will be corresponding of the, pr the uh, product ID as well as the wishlist, inserted wishlist uh, entity. And uh, the second one will be, it will get all wish lists with details. So basically it will get the wish list with products and medias. So the relationship that we have just created with a nested, nested relationship. So this is how to conduct a relationship. Perhaps I'm going to make a small recap just to uh, wrap up uh, this, uh, this uh, second part of, of this tutorial. So the first uh, relationship is pretty simple. From one to one uh, relationship, only you have to declare a class, a data class, and you annotate the parent class with embedded, then put your relationship, defining the relationship between the, uh, the parent class and the child class, specifying the uh, parent colon and the, the entity colon. So the parent colon correspond of the embedded uh, entity and the entity colon correspond of the child entity. So this is fairly straightforward for one-to-one -one relationship. For one-to-many relationship, it's pretty much the same. You, you declare a data class, you add embedded to the parent entity, and this time, in order to uh, instead of retrieving only one, we talk about lists of entities. So we, we define the relationship between the two, the two uh, entities by specifying the product, the, uh, the parent column, uh, for the uh, embedded entity and the entity colon for the child colon, which is products ID. For both entities, we have the same uh, name, which is products ID in here, products entity and media entity as well, uh, which is products ID. So fairly straightforward as well. And the, the last one, which is many to many relationship, without nested relationship, you have to, first of all, create, you have to create a, a new entity and you have to call it uh, wishlist products cross reference. So you need only to declare the primary keys and the, the keys or the, the IDs uh, or the primary keys for each uh, entity. In our case, the first primary key which is wishlist ID belongs to wishlist entity and products ID belongs to the wishlist uh, or the products ID. And we add this to the database. We add this entity in the database and in the DAWs simply or products or wh wh whatever you want to call this method, add um, get wishlist with products, get a wishlist with products. It will just retrieve the products only the products it's not going to retrieve the medias now if you want to uh, define nested relationship in our case it will be getting wish list with products and media so what you have to do is you need to update the cross ref uh, entity and you have to uh, define the ind index indices so the first index will be uh, the products ID because we have only one index in our case if you have too many you have just to put them here and you have to define the um, the foreign keys for both directions the first one will be uh, for the entity uh, wishlist entity and the second one will be for the for uh, products entity and we specify whenever we delete uh, the parent uh, class or the parent uh, entity, automatically it will delete its corresponding child entity. So the first one will be wishlist ID and the products ID. So this is the, the, the first step. The second step, create a, a data class and here specify the, um, the embedded uh, parent class. So as you said before, embedded allow us to uh, access nested uh, fields in our uh, SQL queries. So the, the parent class, which is wishlist and the child uh, entity, it's a product, 
which consists of lists and this time instead of one simple entity it will be the relationship so the relationship that we have already declared before products with media so we want to retrieve the list of uh, products with its medias uh, of course the wish list with products and its uh, related uh, images so and we need to define that specific relationship so first of all we have to specify the uh, the entity in in our case it will be product entity for the parent colon it will be wish list because we have embedded here as a, a parent entity it will be wishlist uh, entity and for the entity column that we have here in the products uh, entity here we have uh, for the entity column let's come back all the way which is product id now we have to add a junction between the two um, the two uh, elements or the two entities so we have created the junction which is basically the products cross reference it's what we call junction and for the parent column in this junction it will be products id or a wishlist id and for the entity column in this uh, wishlist uh, products id cross reference it will be products id it's the same thing that we have done here but we have added here in the uh, wishlist products id and medias the this two lines specifying uh, which belongs to which in the DAW you add your uh, function giving you uh, it's a flow of lists with with uh, wish lists with products and medias so uh, this is basically <laughs> uh, how to do it but just keep in mind keep in mind as in the documentation uh, stated that when we are when you are dealing with nested uh, relationships you have to take into consideration that it will consume memory from your device so this is basically how to deal with one-to-one -one relationship one-to-many relationship and uh many-to-many -many relationship and many-to-many -many relationship with nested uh, uh relationship you can do the same with others one-to-one -one relationship with another nested relationship uh, as an exercise but uh, basically this is what you will need in order to achieve your uh, your uh, your goals in your proper app or your own application in the next part you we will talk about migrations because here we ha we, ha we haven't even run the application yet but in this uh, in, in the second part we will run the application and whenever you make a change to a, data a database or a field inside a data table you have to go back to the product data database and you have to increment so this is it's going to be the objective of the second part i hope i was helpful and i hope you liked the video and uh, take care see you in the next one bye bye